Hey guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about my top five drugstore makeup products that I've purchased this year so far. It is quite rare that I go to the drugstore and don't wander down the makeup aisle. That's drugstore, the grocery store, wherever I go, I always wander down the makeup aisle. So naturally I pick things up. So I thought we'd take a look and see what are my top five that I have purchased so far. So before we get into it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's get into it. Okay guys, so I feel like I'm ranking these in no particular order. These five products I'm gonna mention are just, have just blown my mind with how good they are. So the first product I'm going to talk about is the e.l.f. Putty Blushes. I actually just mentioned this in my speed reviews. This is the shade Bora Bora and this is beautiful. It's definitely a little more sheer. You can build it up. Um, I like to use a fluffier brush to apply this and it is actually so beautiful. It's just the most beautiful shade. It looks so vibrant in here but it's the most beautiful summery pinky shade. I just, I love, love, love it. I was really surprised. I've definitely been getting more into cream products, but at the same time, when I saw the putty blushes, I was like, I love the primer, so maybe we should give this a shot. And I'm really glad I did because I really, really like it, and it's like six bucks. So, love this. So surprised with how well this turned out. The only thing I don't like is that the shade name is not actually on the little component. It's only on the box, which is kind of unfortunate, but I made sure to memorize the shade name. So this is Bora Bora and it's beautiful. A foundation that I have fallen madly in love with from the drugstore is from Catrice. This is the True Skin Hydrating Foundation. This is so good. This is like a $12 foundation and it is full coverage, full, full coverage, but it's also hydrating, so it doesn't look too dry, it doesn't end up looking cakey, and I have the shade Cool Cashmere, and I love this foundation. Even though it is full coverage, it dries down pretty matte, it's also hydrating, so it does not dry me out, it is not too heavy on the skin, it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't, it doesn't do any of the things that I don't want it to do, and it's just so beautiful on the skin. So it definitely looks it doesn't look fully natural. It does look like makeup, but it doesn't look like super heavy makeup. And I just love this. This is like my all-time favorite drugstore foundation right now. I'm still a really big fan of the L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh Wear, but it got moved to second place because of this. So this, I'm, I'm still blown away by how good this foundation is. Next up is something I never really thought I would make a big deal about. It is from Milani. This is their eyeshadow primer. I know this has been around for a hot minute. I do know. But it's so good. I had no idea how good it was. I picked it up. No, I asked for it for my birthday because Emily Noel kept raving on and on about how good this is. Like every time she does her makeup, it doesn't matter whether she does high end, doesn't matter if it's drugstore, she's using the Milani eyeshadow primer. And I was like, okay, I really gotta try that. And what have I been missing? I feel like this is so much better than the Urban Decay um, Priming Potion. I like it better than my MAC Paint Pot, which I never thought I'd say. This is just so good. The colors, they do look more vibrant, but the eye makeup just lasts all day. Like, it sticks around with this. Like, this is like, it is so good for making your eye makeup last. And that's saying something especially for me because I know this is terrible, but I am a chronic eye toucher. I don't know why. Um, so it's very easy for me to mess up my eye makeup. This though locks that stuff in. So I love this and this will forever be my eye primer. If they ever discontinue this, we ride it. That's all I've got to say. Okay. Next is also from Milani. This is the Silky Matte Bronzer in the shade Sunlight. So again, this is a product that is absolutely not new. I just wanted to try it out because I've heard such good things. And this is such a beautiful bronzer. I think I actually might like this better than my Butter Bronzer. And I am a huge fan of the Butter Bronzer. 
What I like about this is it is exactly what it says. It is a silky matte. It goes on, it looks airbrushed, it's so beautiful, but it's also matte. I don't like shimmery bronzers, um, so it is matte, but it looks airbrushed and it's just so beautiful. I cannot believe, I cannot believe that I wasted so many years not trying this bronzer. And the final product from the drugstore that I am head over heels in love with is from Revlon. This is the Skin Lights highlighter and this is the shade Daybreak Glimmer. Revlon is a brand that I feel like is starting to make a little bit more, it's just starting to make some more strides. I feel like they kind of fell off for a while. Um, they're just holding true to their older style and they're, I just feel like they're finally catching up and getting, and catching up to the trends, if you will. This, this is so good. This is the most beautiful, most reflective highlighter. It's just, this is the one I reach for every day. Like I've essentially forgotten about all the other highlighters in my collection because this is so good. The design on the actual product is beautiful. The application is beautiful. It's not chunky glitter, but it's very reflective. It's just, it's just the prettiest highlight. I've heard a lot of people say that this is a dupe for the Anastasia Amrezi highlighter and that everybody loved that. And this is just so, so, so good. I, it's my all time favorite highlighter. So I have to say those are the five products that the drugstore has just blown me away with in the past six months. I, I just think they're killing it with products lately. So I really wanted to talk about these five products so that is where we leave it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. I appreciate it so, so much. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. I do post three new videos every single week. So I will leave it there for today, you guys. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!